Hey everyone, Vince again. So I've got a brand new extension uh, with all the ClickFunnels 1 to 2 info that's going around and all the upgrades. I know people are getting ready to move their stuff. So I wanted to get in here and show uh, the new ClickFunnels uh, Chrome extension that'll help you move the ClickFunnels 1 to ClickFunnels 2, uh, just like the current uh, copying extension that I sell uh, that copies anybody's ClickFunnels page into your own account. Uh, same thing, but from you can either get the version that is uh, one account, which is your account for ClickFunnels 1 and 2, unlimited pages, or unlimited, which allows you to put any amount of ClickFunnels accounts into it and copy from there. Uh, so that's my page, bestfbtools.com, slash move. And I'm going to go ahead and go through this and show you how to copy a funnel. So it's going to be this funnel I created in ClickFunnels 1. And we're going to uh, copy that over to ClickFunnels 2. All right, so here's my ClickFunnels 1 page that I created. You can say it's from uh, my best FB tools domain. I'm going to copy that over to a new ClickFunnels 2 page. Uh, so I'm just going to go start from blank. And we'll call that test copy. Doesn't matter. We're just going to copy that there. And it's going to create the page. While that's going on, you can see on the top right here, I've got the extension already installed. I've signed in. And there's this option where you configure the accounts. It's called Manage Accounts. So you need to make sure that you put the domain, the subdomain, for your site. And then the one it's coming from, uh, so from and to, has to be in the approved domains configuration of the extension. So here's what we're going to do. So that's all created, that blank page on ClickFunnels 2. I'm going to go just to the URL here of this one, and I'm going to click on the extension, copy. It's copied. And then we'll go to ClickFunnels 2, and we're going to click on Paste. And successfully pasted, reloading the page to see the changes. So that's going to reload the page. And you'll probably see it's not going to be 100% the same. Uh, there may be some little tweaks, but uh, this is going to keep you from having to do everything all over. So test copy, here's my page, and it's saved. So I'm going to go ahead and preview that. And so here's what I'll show you is the test copy. You can see uh, the video isn't there right now. So you're going to have to add that. So here's the original. Here's the update, and then now I can tweak it. Uh, any questions, let me know. Again, this is uh, something that's gonna save you hours and hours of time. This will get you started. And imagine if you had a bunch of different pages in the site that you wanted to recreate.